All right, hey guys, we are live. Um, just finished a bit of an outside workout with Steve. We did some lunges and then we went downstairs and did a hammer and chisel weight workout. Um, I did say today was my rest day and it was this morning, but that's kind of, we don't have much to do in the evening, so we kind of like to hang out. And, uh, oh, this is our, one of my new shirts. If you haven't checked it out, they turned out sweet. It's super comfy. And um, I wanted to just jump on here real quick and talk about a podcast, kind of the topic that I listened to while I was in the car. I went, I um, drove to the city to pick up some groceries and I was listening to the Earn Your Happy podcast that I recommended um, on my Snapchat. And basically it was the topic that I titled this, uh, this Facebook Live. And it was, are you a coulda, shoulda, what a maybe type of person. What I mean by that is um, when you make decisions, are you kind of like that on the fence sitter? Like I should, or I could do this, or maybe, or we'll see. Um, are you that type of person? Because I know I was up until, oh my gosh, probably like just recently, I was the worst decision maker on the planet. You you can even ask uh, my family like I'd shop go shopping with my mom or my sisters and like I couldn't even decide on clothes I'd like when you, you used to be able to put them on hold I don't know if you can if that's still a thing uh, put them on hold and I'd like go look around to see everything else and then I'd come back and get what I wanted that's how bad of a decision maker I was even to sign up to be a coach Stephen pretty much had to force me to sign up because I still probably wouldn't be signed up today so basically the podcast I was listening to was talking about it takes so much energy to hover in that decision so much energy and I mean really if you just think about it you know in the morning when you're like making the decision if you're gonna get up or not um, you end up laying there for an hour, like humming and hawing, should I do it, should I not do it? And it takes up so much energy when you think, okay, if I just would have said yes or no, it would have been done with and I could have moved on with my life. So that's what it came down to. It's like, stop being a coulda, shoulda, woulda person because it takes up, it takes up so much energy and how you doing? Good. It takes up so much energy when you could have just said yes, no, um, moved on with that decision. So what she was basically talking about, um, now I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm just, I want to come at this at the right angle for you guys. Um, so basically, what she was talking about my neighbor distracted me I'm sorry oh my gosh totally lost my train of thought I'm outside <laughs> um, so could have should have woulda taking up way more energy when we need to either say yes or no for ourselves make up the decision yes I'm gonna do this and be okay with it or no I'm not gonna do it do this and move on and basically making that dis those concrete decisions catapults action in our life you know what I mean like if you're sitting on the fence with every decision you make and you're not necessarily making a decision yes or no either way no action takes place no movement it's like you just hover in that maybe shoulda woulda coulda and nothing really happens in your life and honest to God you guys that's how I was to like before I was just in limbo and just going through the motions and not until now did I realize because I wasn't making any yes or no decisions I was just a coulda shoulda woulda maybe we'll see I just rolled with the punches because I never wanted to make a decision yes or no and I don't I think it was just because I was scared to say it out loud that yes I wanted this or no I wanted this it was easier just to leave it and just let nature take its course and whatever happened, happened. But the day I started saying, making concrete decisions instantly, like, well, thinking about it, but yes, I'm doing this, or no, I'm not doing this, and being okay with that choice, that's when um, things started to get rolling, the ball started to get rolling, and action actually started to start to happen in my life. So what I want you to take from this, basically, is 
go on a journey of stopping to be the coulda, shoulda, woulda person like I used to be. And when you're presented with the choice, um, use that power that you have that choice and say yes or no. Don't just hover in limbo and then nothing even happens. Um, this life is just, as in this life is just a result of the choices we're making. So don't leave it up to chance. Don't leave it up to limbo because no action is going to take place. So let's stop being coulda, shoulda, woulda people and either say yes, I'm doing it or no, I'm not doing it. Okay. Um, yes, I'm starting this workout program or no, I'm not starting this workout program. Yes, I'm having dessert for dinner and be okay with it or no, I'm not. Don't hover in the decision. It's freaking exhausting, you guys. You know how it is, right? Um, so let's just say yes or no and move on with our lives. So I hope you have an awesome Sunday night, y'all. And I love ya.